What up, YouTube? This is Geo Stealth R1, and what are we doing today? Well, right in front of you, you have the Gravedigger Mini LMT from Losi. And I've had fun with this build. There's a few things that I want to get for it that was just released, which I'm very happy and pleased to uh, show you guys. Um, here we go. These are the colored shocks from Trell. Uh, the part number is X0047SS10N as in Nancy. And I opted to get the purple ones. Why? I'm not too sure why. But uh, they do, I noticed they, they do give you other types of springs in the back. I'm guessing these are gonna be, let me see, judging by the diameter as opposed. Yeah, these are a lot stiffer springs. Uh, but yeah, let's uh, get this out of the bag and see what we got. Alrighty, so I'm curious. Did they fill them up with uh, oil? Uh, because I got this directly from Trell. So we're gonna find out right now. And if they didn't, that's okay. Because when I ended up getting the Losi shocks, um, oh yeah, there is absolutely no oil in these bad boys. So I'm gonna have to fill all of them with uh, oil. Uh, when I initially got the uh, Losi uh, aluminum shocks, uh, as you can see right here, uh, it already had pre-oil in there. So they make sure that they put this all, everything's gonna be like stock, it's all set up right here. Give you a better visual on that. So yeah, nicely. Uh, you know what, Trell is amazing when it comes down to them painting uh, their aluminum. Uh, I like the color. I was gonna go with green and I said, you know what, let me, let me go with the purple. Uh, there's a lot of green on the RC as well. And then again, there's a lot of purple on there. So I am going to have to take these guys apart and um, start filling up with chalk oil. <laughs> Alrighty, so I ended up putting uh, the oil into each and every one of these shocks. Um, so this is what I have right now. This is the uh, low C aluminum shocks. And uh, primarily what I'm gonna have to do is take out the screw from here, screws from here on all four ends, and then uh, just screw the new ones in there. So uh, it should be fairly simple. Uh, I'm gonna do that off camera and we'll see what the final result's gonna be. Alrighty, so here we go. Uh, just give you a little bit of a visual on how this looks. I think I came out pretty good. Um, maybe I should have went with the green. I don't know. Who knows? A um, little bit of differences between um, these shocks as opposed to the Losi ones. Um, the Losi ones do have a bleeder. Uh, the problem with the Losi ones is that the bottom is plastic and not metal. I mean, so with the good comes the bad, and it is what it is. So, uh, yep, this is the uh, this is the final product. Uh, I'm hoping Trell sooner or later comes out with their servo horn. Uh, I think that's the last piece of the puzzle that I need. Uh, hopefully, they do it sooner than later. Anyway, uh, if this video was informative to you, um, leave me a comment below. Tell me what you think about this RC on how I've been uh, doing the. Uh, Grave Digger Mini LMT from Losi. Anyway, rate, comment, subscribe, and tell my fellas up in YouTube. Later.